Sipamazda Chi uh, so uh, there's a few Tibetans who have come along tonight, and first of all, uh, Kimball would like to offer them a um, heartfelt greeting of Andrashi Dili. Ngatsu Popa, Zijit Murg Nyonyori, Tane Sacha Kamasona Nyonyos, we recommend. The Tibetan people is um, uh, there. Are, it's a, a small nationality, not so many people. Uh, but Campbell, going around the place, has uh, only encountered a few of them. However, in terms of the um, Tibetan cultural tradition, um, there are it is widely renowned and supported. Ta kongu chwa te chere ze na gomba na ng chon chon di ka chwa zo ti on de la shir dong ka chwa rang ngu ni na te la te ka ke ka zi ta nyeng ka zi yo chere ke ka te chere ze na te ka ta chon chon ni gomba ka sur jing ka hui na gomba rang na te ni ta lo london shi ji ta na yi ki em ji ji ta na keng shu ka te ni chon chon yin de hui na tai na na chu ba ka Chapachon Tene Ta Shirnayantari, the Java, 
Uh, Campbell said that there are um, advantages and, and disadvantages to sending uh, young children to the monastery at such a young age. The advantages are clearly that it enables a young child to engage in memorization and learning and have their personality as a monk shaped very well from a young age. Obviously, on the other hand, it does mean that they're not being exposed to um, secular education and it um, means that they're quite um, uneducated and perhaps not particularly competent in these realms. However, the reason, I guess, in Tibet that um, young children have been um, entered into monasteries at a quite young age in recent times, there has been the, a period of time when lineages um, were in facing great danger of, um, of, of, of breaking of, and monasteries essentially being empty. And so from that point of view, there was a real need for um, monks actually and, of course, older members of the older monastic generation also dying. So for, from that um, point of view, there was a reason for um, a monastic population to be introduced. And then secondly, um, there is the issue that if um, people become monks or become ordained after they've, say, finished their middle school education or something like that, by this stage they've already um, been exposed to quite a lot of um, mundane influences, as it were, and so this um, doesn't necessarily um, make for the um, best conditions to really generate the desire to practice religion, etc. So even though we can see that there are pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages, the reasons for um, entering young children into the monastery in recent times have been these.